Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. The tenth and final challenge couple need to do, assuming I win this, is underway. Because I remember I did eight off camera. So we're up to nine. And I made a deck that is probably a deck that would best represent what the meta would be like if this game was played really hyper competitively. And now that I said that, veterans probably know where this is going. It's called the No Hands deck, and it's designed to basically not let the opponent do anything. <laughs> Discard their hand, prevent chainer cards, that sort of thing. So let's give you the rundown. 8 Psychic, 4 Double Colorless. So there's a lot of draw power, as you know, whenever, whenever I have this low of energy. So we got... Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. If you don't know that one, you will know it soon enough. Uh, I don't have any grass, so it doesn't matter what Oddish I have. This <laughs> 50 HP, regardless of which version you- I just chose this one because different picture than what we typically see. Same retreat, same weakness as all the others. So it's Oddish is Oddish in this deck. So then we go up to Dark Blue. Pollen Stench. Once during your turn before you attack, you may flip a coin. If heads defending Pokemon is now confused. If tails your attack, their Pokemon is now confused. This power can't be used if Dark Bloom is asleep. Blah, blah, blah. So what this can be used for is against, say, Mr. Mime. To confuse it and stop its invisible wall power, or just to kind of offset the opponent in general. That's pretty nice and right, but you know, it's got that detriment that, that you might flip tails. Or is it? Snorlax's thick skin comes into play. Snorlax can't become a sneak if you fertilize or poison. Uh huh. So this is gonna be my main attacker here. Double colorless energy will help with the body slam and all that draw power will allow me to get double colorless energy with ease. Yada yada yada. <laughs> Oops, uh, Dark Vile Plume now. No trainer cards made you play. <laughs> this is... this card should have never been made. <laughs> just, just put it out there. Very, very oppressive card. Um, I think they did this because of players' outcry of how, how powerful trainer cards were. And you know, how, how decks are just loaded with a bunch of trainer cards, and yeah. So they made this, but it's too much. <laughs> So, but you might be wondering, how am I going to prevent the op opponent from using trainer cards on their first turn? I mean, I can't evolve Pokémon on the first turn, after all. Psyduck, it's got Headache, your opponent can't play tra trainer cards this during his or her next turn, and it's got 50 HP, so it's kind of difficult to knock out rapidly in that regard. Use the Psychic Energy and all like that. Now, let's say I have Dark Vile Plume in play, and I have some trouble uh, with something in the slim chance that I have trouble with something. Here's Dark Golduck. <laughs> Third Eye, discard one energy card, draw three cards. <laughs> uh, it's also a decent attacker in on itself, so it, it'll complement Snorlax pretty well in that regard, since nothing resists water, just like nothing resists uh, colorless Pokémon. So there's that if I need it, but primarily it's just going to be used as a drawer. I would think that's why I only got one copy if I need it. It might end up just flopped in the prize cards, but very rarely will I actually need that. You also probably notice this Rattata. Why do I have this Rattata? Mr. Mime. Because the Mr. Mime's invisible wall it kinda could prevent me from doing stuff if I don't have Dark Gloom. So, if I can knock out the Mr. Mime with the Rattata, bites, you know, 20 damage. It basically forces a retreat of the Mr. Mime. Uh, but I also got zero retreat cost of the Rattata. So that's another thing. It's also Psychic Resistant for the Mr. Mime. So it's basically the perfect counter for Invisible Wall Mr. Mime. And that's all for the Pokémon. As for the trainers, all the draw power has been maxed. Professor Oak, Challenge, Computer Search, Bill, Bill's Teleporter, all that stuff is maxed. And then we come down to the rest of it. I may need to use some stuff depending on the situation, like maybe reuse a Professor Oak or something like that to draw into what I need. So here's Adam Finder. Uh, Trader and Breeder, try and get that Oddish out, or maybe the Snorlax out, or maybe in the Dark Vile Plume, <laughs> depends on the situation. And you notice that my copies of key cards, like said, Pokemon Trader and Breeder, are sort of on the low side. That's because of all the draw power. Since I have such draw power, it's like the deck size is severely smaller than actually 60 cards. And uh, the other part of the oppressive nature of... that probably should not have been made... <laughs> is the Rocket's Trap. The coin of heads, choose up with three cards of random from your opponent's hand, and they shuffle them into their deck. So, 
And that could potentially just kind of ruin their chances there as well. Because remember on their first turn, they put out two or three basic Pokémon that drops them down to four cards in their hand. You play the Rocket's Trap, if you get the coin flip, knocks them down to one card in their hand. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! That's a pretty degenerate card too, as is the Vile Plume, which should not have been made. <laughs> Another card that probably shouldn't have been made is the Rocket Sneak Attack, where you can check their hand and discard a trainer card, I mean, uh, shuffle a trainer card back in of your choosing, but I, since I showed that before in the uh, Wigglytuff deck, I thought it would show you the Rocket's Trap instead, since it kind of fits the no hands theme of things. And Nightly Garbage Run is just to recycle whatever I need back into the deck, since I got so much draw power in general, so just kind of shuffle it back in, redraw it back out if I need to reuse it. It's another option. Um, say one of my Snorlax or even the Golduck gets knocked out, you can get it back into play this way. And yeah, that's how it rolls. And it's an evil deck. You, <laughs> you will not make friends with this deck. So here we go. Hosting a special event, thanks to King Villasini. This is Team Jira, the King of Competition. Uh, see the card. Uh, oh, Dark Persian. Um. This is an exclusive card for the GR Challenge Cup, like you can only get it by winning the GR Challenge Cup. And there's also an exclusive Pikachu at the other Challenge Cup, but I, I haven't gotten into the full card lists in detail or anything like that. As I said, I was going to do that later when I get all the cards in... Yeah, it just makes things a little bit more organized in that regard at this point. Anyway, you must win... We know the rules, let's participate, let's go up on stage and... Basically, prevent the opponent from doing anything. <laughs> Things are heating up in King of Victor, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, no kidding with this deck. And four prize cards, let's begin! Super effective deck. I, I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> anyway, so super effective. Versus a deck that prevents him from using trainer cards, basically. Uh, if I go first, <laughs> we shall see. Though I mean, maybe I'll, oops, maybe I'll be able to not get a Psyduck. I got a Rattata, but I got a free retreat cost with Rattata, so <laughs> we shall see about that. And there's the head flip. All right, so up there's Psyduck. So we retreat into Psyduck. That's how things roll. We put that on Psyduck. We use Bill. Draw a double colorless and oddish, very nice. Uh, oddish in play. He doesn't have basic Pokemon, his hand's pretty full, but I uh, might still want to use the Rocket's Trap anyway. Just because, yeah, there we go. Rip them back in attack. It's so now he's on the three cards in his hand. Um, I should probably go with the Professor Oak now. Or maybe I should go item find there before I Professor Oak. Like discard that and put the rocket's trap back in my hands just to see what I can get off of it. And oh! all <laughs> zero cards in his hand. Whoops, zero cards in his hand. Uh huh. No hands deck has successfully worked, and we Professor Oak. <laughs> so this is basically the deck of just watching me do things on just a couple of turns and win. <laughs> just how things roll. Uh, challenge, we want to get that Snorlax. Uh, oh, there it is! <laughs> uh, might as well put the Psyduck in play as well. Uh, don't <laughs> could save that, actually. We, we have an overabundance of these now! <laughs> um, let's see here. Let's see if we can get four cards of Bill's Teleporter, I suppose. Oh, we even got that! Wow! Luck is on our side. Dark Goldock, there is our... Powerhouse and draw power, and I use headache just to end the turn. Just let him do something. Just get, give him something, you know, something to help. Okay, there you go. You got you got some paralysis. So you managed to draw psychic energy. So now, so, since his hand is empty, we, we basically know what he's going to be drawing just based off of that, because he's going to be playing off the top deck. So that that's about as uh, predictable as of, a, of an opponent as you can make them. Because, you know, top deck, you can never predict what's on the top deck unless you use Mankey's Peak, which I did consider for this deck as well. And then, like, shuffled it in using the Rocket's Trap or uh, the Rocket Sneak Attack, if need be. But, anyway! 
<laughs> I figured that this this deck was this deck was enough. <laughs> uh, so he he can use trainers again, but he's got to draw a trainer card. Best of luck there, Mister. You better get a Professor Oak or something. Nope. Because you only got four copies of Professor Oak, and if you got a computer search, you need two other cards to use that computer search. If you got a bill, that might help you a little bit more. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna put that on Snorlax. Um, I don't, should I discard the one on his, one in his hand? Probably not. It's just I'm just trying to think of how I should put things into play here. I should probably put Dark Gold Duck in play in general, and. Uh, it's, it's kind of a complicated deck to use, basically, because you have so many options of what you need to weigh and stuff like that. Like, I want to trade for an, another Oddish to potentially put in Dark Gloom. Uh, so I might just do here, you know, get that confusion set up with Snorlax. Uh, I guess I'll put that in play normally like that. And Headache. So, yeah, he's still unable to really use trainer cards. Kadabra is now in play. Big whoop, since I got Snorlax. That's another power of the colorless critter. Uh, Bill's Teleporter. Can I get heads? Nah, that's okay, though. Um, Maybe... Hold on a sec. I should do Dark Vile Plume Trade. Put, uh, put that back in the deck, and then get Oddish. And then instead of utilizing Pokemon Breeder... Use Item Finder to discard Pokemon Breeder and the Rocket's Trap to, whoops, to grab, say... I was thinking I should go for a, uh, a bill just to see if we can get some some more out of that before I Professor Oak. Oh, there's another... Ah, oh, Poopers, I didn't want to discard them. I shouldn't have done... <laughs> uh, I guess I could just put it in plain... No, no, wait, I can't, because... I need the other double colorless energy for Snorlax sweeping. So I gotta get that. Up oh, there it is. Voila. And there's my other Dark File Plume. So now that everything is set up, we can put that in play. No trainer cards may be played. Now I can't play any trainer cards either, but that's alright. I'm retreating my Psyduck with that one psych I needed to use for the headache. We got Snorlax. We got Body Slam. It took me 20 minutes to do just two turns, but we win. <laughs> <laughs> see, how, see how this works here? So yeah, it's super size, he's gonna be able to do 20 damage with Snorlax. I mean, oh yeah, that's right, the, the low resistance is in play, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> we win! So because I was able to lock him down from using trainer cards and discarded his hand greatly, uh, he wasn't able to really get anything really going there. Couldn't get Bills or Professor Oaks to get running there, so once I got him locked down, that was it, he just, he had his energy and that was it. If, if Snorlax went down of some, due to some fluke chance, then I had Dark Golduck or another Snorlax, you know what I mean? So that's how this deck works, it's, as I said, you're not gonna make friends with this deck, it's one of the most oppressive decks you'll ever see. Uh, I will save, just in case things go awry, might, might get a brick on the off chance after all. Mensch Peril deck, let's go. And he could maybe attack my Dark Vile Plume. See me, he can get energy for. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, yeah, that's, that's part of the oppressive nature. Um, let's see here. I guess. Mm, hmm. I don't want to necessarily lead with the Snorlax. I don't want to necessarily lead with the Oddish either, but I got more Oddish than I have Snorlax, so let's do that. And see what we draw in the subsequent turns. Challenge? Now let's first try Teleporter, yes. <laughs> so you see where this is going already, okay, so... Um, Rattata's in play. I should probably retreat that Oddish, or... I could, I could let it get knocked out if I really wanted to, but... Primarily I want to get the Psyduck for the... up oh, there it is. <laughs> for the headache. Uh, it looks like, just by the way of that slight brick, I won't be able to do the headache on the first turn, but I will be able to do so on the next turn. So what I'm gonna do is just end the turn here and just let him do whatever, I guess, since I didn't have much of a choice. You draw two, 
and I will... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> and I will continue to get stuff set up. You still don't have bench Pokemon, huh? Um... Anyway, I probably should now treat into... Oh, that block path, that's right. Well, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I could potentially use Hay Fever to stop that. I mean, not, not Hay Fever, the uh, Pile of Descent. Let's see if I can get heads off that. No. So that's a confusion to myself. Alas, alas. But I can, I can always get another Dark Bloom a little bit later on, or just evolve straight into Dark Vile Plume or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, challenge for now. Just keep getting things set up on this odd brick. And... Now let's trade the Vile Plume for... Another... Oops, another Oddish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I call it a turn. <laughs> I tried to stop the Snorlax, but I couldn't. <laughs> that's alright, though. So, uh, yeah, Block Path is in play, so that's kind of out in general. Got the other Snorlax. I think I might go computer search a double colorless. There we go. You go ahead and knock out that gloom if you'd like. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Whatever. Now, I, always, I always forget about that Snorlax's block path whenever I encounter it. There you go. Uh, actually, sleep might be beneficial because I could wake up and then use the. Uh... Oh, wait. Actually, even better. The Snorlax may not wake up. And then its Pokemon power is out. Okay. So then that gloom could wake up and then I could retreat it. Yes, alright. That is the disadvantage of that particular Snorlax. Wait, what's the retreat? It's two. Um, I should probably use that then instead to go over to Snorlax. Bill? We're just getting things set up here, as you know. <laughs> uh, let's call it a turn. Snorlax may or may not wake up, we shall see. But my Snorlax cannot take any sort of... Uh, uh, status effect, so we should be good. And the Snorlax of the opponent's side will always fall asleep, so. Eh. <laughs> yeah. Say so he's sleeping. So, block path is staying. Put another one in. Oh, that's. Oh. <laughs> uh. Wait a second. Future Surge, Snorlax, Nightly Garbage Run for Double Colorless again. There we go. I just got an awkward start here, but. I think we're getting back on track. <laughs> uh, if I can play Vile Plume, I probably should. Because I just need one more energy for Snorlax. Yeah. Let's put that in play. And call it a turn. Hope the Snorlax doesn't wake up. Thank you. <laughs> because otherwise my uh, that my Snorlax might be in uh, damage trouble here. Oh, Jotini. Eh, it's not that big of a deal though. Doesn't wake up. But if I call it Paralysis, it wouldn't matter anyway, so... Alright! Psychic on the Snorlax. Body Slam! Let's go! <laughs> no Paralysis that time, and no Wakey Wakeys either, so... We're still in good shape in that regard, despite the early game odd bricking. So if I get one heads here, that Snorlax is knocked out because of the Paralysis thing, basically. And yeah, I don't know, I checked the hand, and I know I got a trainer card and I can't play it due to Hay Fever, just kind of a force of habit. And... To Dratini, sure, sure, best of luck with that. And... can't play it. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't matter, Snorlax is knocked out, and we take a prize card. So yeah, that's another thing with the Snorlax's body slam, is... I've got another Dratini. Is the Snorlax's body slam can, uh basically stop the opponent indefinitely, or possibly stop the opponent indefinitely. No effect due to the thick skin. I checked the hand again! <laughs> but I can cause paralysis to the opponent. They can cause paralysis to me, though, so I just keep on attacking. <laughs> Even more consistently than Wigglytuff in some aspects, if you think about it. And... Body Slam! So the lockdown worked yet again, despite the slow start. <laughs> So he's got... Oh, Hungry Snorlax. I was gonna say, he's got, probably got get one more basic Pokémon, but he's only just kind of nicking away at me for the most part. And... Double Colorless. Ooh! I got the other Snorlax coming eventually, too, so... Could potentially get that going if this Snorlax should have some sort of ire, which is highly unlikely. 
And doesn't matter what the coin flip is, I have taken that luck out of the equation. <laughs> Hmm. Wait, wait, hold on a sec, should I? No, just, I'll just go for the body slam. I was thinking if I should attach it to something in case I need to attack with it, like say make a dark gold duck. But nah, I think we're good. I think we've got the game won. Zapdos is put into play, and we just body slam. You go ahead and try to power up that uh, Zapdos there, just best of luck. <laughs> Yeah, he doesn't have any energy, if you didn't notice that, he's getting low on that. So... Uh-huh. So you probably won't be able to even retreat Dark... I mean, <laughs> Dark Snorlax, the Hungry Snorlax, because of Dark Gloom's uh, putting it in play with the Prevent Switch from being used. Can't get energy on the Snorlax. Uh, can't gust of wind my Hay Fever Critter out, so he needs to be able to purely retreat Hungry Snorlax with energy. And he's not gonna have any of that. You go ahead and eat. I will. I will put you out of your misery. <laughs> so no prize cards there, despite the slow start. I mean, no prize cards for the opponent. And didn't even need to use the rocket's trap. So anyway, two total victories. Who is the last opponent? We have. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, Water Lady Brook. And, yes, actually, I want to save just in case of some sort of ire again. It's very unlikely, but... Actually, you know what? Maybe I should just go for the sweep, because she's getting low on Pokémon. She can draw cards. So you treat in the Dark Golduck. We play that other double colorless on the Dark Golduck, and we Super Saw. <laughs> so instead of two attacks, knock out the Goldina, it's only one attack. And Articuno will be up next, but there's, uh, I don't know if there's really much the Articuno can do. Might be able to cause paralysis, but the, uh, eh, I've still got other stuff waiting in the wings if need be. Uh, double colorless on, I guess the other Snorlax. <laughs> and, yeah, Super Psy. There we go. And... Give a decent amount of damage to Articuno. Actually, maybe I should. I don't know. Maybe I should have kept the Snorlax out. Because yeah, Dark Gold locked up wouldn't last too long. Maybe that was a mistake on my part. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Snorlax. <laughs> uh, hmm. You know what? I think I messed up. <laughs> I messed up after all, so I'm gonna have to redo that. Yeah, because when I retreated Snorlax, that was the. Uh, that was basically the end of things there. That was a big mistake on my part, so... Uh, we're gonna consider that a loss. That was totally bad misplay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, new, it's a new deck to me, so... Well, sort of new deck to me. I mean, I knew how it was played and stuff like that, I just didn't think that went through very well. So I just kept Snorlaxing it up. And... Oh, sh Alright, let's try it again. <laughs> So basically that whole duel I'm probably going to end up cutting out for the sake of time, yeah. <laughs> and... Goldeen, Water, Slep, you do your thing, I will draw out my entire deck. <laughs> and... Challenge. Might actually... Should, I mean, I probably should go for the Rocket's Trap in general. There we go... Yes, very nice, very nice. I don't know if I want to discard the double colorless, you know? Kind of valuable for Snorlax. But I need to need to get something going here. I guess I could trade Dark Vile Plume back in the deck for the Snorlax and get that set up instead. You know, with the double colorless before I Professor Oak. How about that? So I think that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> uh, plus power to knock out the Oddish, go ahead. I'll just be able to start Snorlax oppressing anyway. And there's a Snorlax. So yeah, no mistakes this time with the double colorless since I... Uh, it's kinda, kinda flub there. Professor Rocket. <laughs> just need the Oddish side duck combo if, if at all possible, or just go straight through into the uh, Dark Vile Plume. Well, I, that probably is what I should do. And heads! 
Oh, <laughs> I was hoping for the heads. Alas, alas. And slap. So Snorlax takes a meager 20 out of its 90. And that Gloom, we're gonna get that in play as fast as we possibly can with another Snorlax. Probably should put that Psyduck in play in case of a Golduck. And wait a second, I should be... Yep. <laughs> should be doing that as well. And Rattata... Oops. Rattata! And... Uh... Hmm... Hmm... I guess I'll try another Teleporter. I'm just thinking about, you know, the cards remaining in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> like the last time. Uh, yeah, you can't you can't draw out your entire deck too quickly if there's gonna be a stall match after all. Uh, I might as well since I tried for the teleporter. Try for another time. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> just draw, just a deck of drawing cards. And uh, yeah, I think I should computer search into Dark Gold Dock if it exists. Wait, that... No. If it exists in the deck, I don't know. It could be in the prize... Oh, it is in the prize cards, isn't it? Or did I miss it? Am I... No, it's in the prize cards. Oh, man! I don't, don't know what I want to pick. Uh... How about... Uh, another Oddish. Let's see if I can get another Dark Gloom in play. And finish off the Star Yo. There we go! So you, you get knocked out, you put in the, the Articuno, I, oh you don't have energy cards, interesting. That might mean that it's game over then, because I have another Snorlax and I have a Dark Vile Plume, so let's just go ahead and do the sweep. <laughs> yeah, I really only lost the last one because I made that huge mistake. Because, yeah, I, there was really no reason to retreat with the Snorlax. I, I, look, like, I looked at the cards that I had left in the deck, and I was thinking to myself, will I be able to knock her out quick enough with Snorlax? Because it's only doing 20, uh, I mean, 30 damage at a time, as opposed to me being able to do 50. And then I, I, was, I, I was like, eh, eh, maybe I should switch, and then I ruined it. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of forgot the fact that I'm running only four double colorless energy somehow, I guess you could say. So I'm not able to power up another Snorlax as rapidly, unless I already got them. <clears throat> I already got them ahead of time, you know. Anyway. So yeah, we're, we're in good shape this time. <laughs> so we bought a slam. We wait our turn. Don't do any more draws. And since the Hay Fever is in play. No trainer cards can be played either, so. The lockdown has been successfully achieved. Articuno can't retreat due to the body slam paralysis. So that means pretty much guaranteed knockout, unless there's some sort of Pokemon I'm not thinking of right offhand, but <laughs> that'd be a very specific scenario. Mm, can't even slap, that is too bad. So, Body Slam! So yeah, in, in theory, six turns should be enough for the remainder of the prize cards. Unless she's just gonna do a bunch of switchy switchies, which she may do because of the math of things. But since she's low on energy, I don't know how well it'll work out, you know? Now, why did you attach that to Goldeen instead of the other Staryu? You know, to just, you know, to slap? Because the slap would have did more damage to the Snorlax. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, paralysis hits, so no more damage to Snorlax there anyway, so yep, definitely would have been better on the Staryu unless she had some sort of evolution plan. But didn't look like it, because I would have thought she would have evolved it already. And another uh, knockout. If I get head flip paralysis, that will be game over. And one attack. With a little bit of knickers. And then if I get heads, I win. Oh, so she's gonna switch into something else. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's part of the advantage of the paralysis is that they can't do quick switches like that. And body slam. Maybe at this point she's gonna try and run me out of cards. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should consider making that uh, dark side duck then. I don't know. We'll see. If I get heads, I was gonna say if I get heads, she won't be able to retreat the Lapras. But Lapras has a two retreat cost anyway, so I don't think that's happening. And uh, yeah, go ahead and 
Oh, it's one retreat? I thought it was two retreat costs for Lapras. Was it really? Oh, the, oh, the special, oh, yeah, yeah, the special rule that's in play. The water Pokemon take one less to retreat, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Forgot all about that. That's alright, because we win anyway with the paralysis, so. Well, well ahead of time in the card count. And, oh, there's the Dark Gold Duck. Yeah, that's right, I forgot that was the Stone Duck. Oh, jeez, that last game was just idiocy on my part. Luckily, tournaments and stuff would be like, best three out of five, hey? <laughs> Bad luck, book, da 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 And, give me that Dark Persian! Thank you, and here's the alternate artwork. As I said, it's just like the regular Dark Persian, except it's got a holographic background. Giovanni's eyes looming in the in the back as well. Yeah, fascinating. It's same Poison Claw, same same HP, etc., etc. It's a very cool card, but you know it's the same card as the one that you can get from booster packs. By the way, Nick, did you know this is the tenth time you won the King Cup? Congratulations for your victories. You've earned this special coin. Whee! Happy days! So there is the sixth coin of the final page of the coin list. A horsey coin. Please take good care of it. Congratulations once again. Thank you. And now with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I'm actually not sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> I got to do some thought, thought process on things. I beat all the cups and stuff like that. <laughs>